Hey, welcome, or welcome back. But I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the length of BD, and you notice BD is this segment right here. And the first thing I notice, or, or you should notice, is that BD plus DC, the other segment, is nothing else than the big segment BC. So obviously BD will be BC minus DC. So if I can find these two segments BC and DC, obviously I have the segment BD, the length of segment BD. And now let's take a look a little bit to this triangle we have. And I'm going to start with the one on the bottom, the triangle ACD. This triangle. And if you notice, this angle here is 45. This angle here is 90. We see the box, so this one will be 45. This is a special right triangle. It's a 45, 45, 90, how we call it. And we know this uh, side, which is the hypotenuse, it's 6. So basically now we can use the rule that you see here and we can find this leg, which is DC. How am I going to do that? I'm going to uh, match the picture you see here. I'm going to match this side with the hypotenuse in this uh, triangle where you see the rule. So I'm going to say n square root of 2 equals 6. And I'm going to find n divided by square root of 2. And I have n equals 6 over square root of 2. I'm going to rationalize this expression and I have 6 square root of 2 over 2 because square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2 and we can simplify here 2 goes in 6 3 times 3 square root of 2 is the final answer for n n being these legs so in our case dc and ac are the legs so dc is 3 square root of 2 so we have the first part, DC. So now we can move to uh, the other triangle. And by the way, we're going to need also uh, the bottom leg, AC, and which is also 3 square root of 2. We're going to need that leg because now we're going to move in the big triangle. And this angle here is 30. Uh, this angle is 90 because it's the same angle. And then this angle here should be 60. So this is what we call a 30, 60, 90 degree angle, a uh, triangle. And uh, in this triangle, we know this bottom leg, which is AC, this one is 3 square root of 2. So now this is the rule for this triangle, this type of triangle. And you notice. If we know this leg, let me call this one n sub 1. The other leg is that n sub 1, I'm going to call it different than the other picture, times square root of 3. So in other words, uh, BC, which is that leg, is going to be 3 square root of 2 times this square root of 3 we have here. So that will be 3 square root of 6. And now we have BC. We have DC. We can go back here and we can find BD. BD will be BC, which is 3 square root of 6 minus 3 square root of 2. You can factor out the 3 if you want uh, in this format. And this will be the exact answer. And this is good also. Now let's grab a calculator and try to evaluate 
this uh, length of segment BD. So I'm going to grab a calculator. Uh, 3.105 and I need to round to the nearest 10 so I'm going to look to this decimal so I'm going to stay with 3.1 that is the length of segment BD if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help thank you